What is up, everybody? This is the Crap Big Gamer, and uh, this is actually going to be in the front of the soccer video that you will be uh, potentially watching in uh, just a few minutes. We did want to mention, uh, usually the gloves that you watch me using and Julio using are these Adidas Predators. These came out in 2014, I believe for the 2014 World Cup. Specifically designed for the ball that was used. Uh, the, the latex on the orange parts was actually specifically designed to grip that Adidas ball since that was the match ball. Uh, I don't particularly like these because they're really thick in the palm. And uh, I, I just don't feel like I have all that great... I mean, I'm terrible now, but I don't have all that great of a touch with these compared to my favorite goalie gloves of all time, which are the Cells Devils. And they're somewhere in this room, and if I find them, I'll bring them out and show them. But they were roll cut like these, but the palm is a little bit thinner. The glove itself was not as uh, puffy. I'm just not a puffy glove kind of a guy. But um, they work fine for what I need them for. Punching with the, uh, the rubber... The vamps, by the way, is pretty awesome. But um, just happened to be at Walmart yesterday and was looking for batting tape. I needed a bat, uh, tape up my bat. And I uh, saw, saw these hanging on there and thought, hmm, let me check, check you know, have a look. I figured these, you know, they are cheap. They're 12 bucks. But I thought, oh, man, there's uh, uh, finger splines. On the back side. I was like, you're kidding me. Finger splined goalie gloves for 12 bucks. So I was like, fuck it. And they're Umbro. I'm like, hey, Umbro's a respectable brand. So bottom, they came in this uh, little uh, meshy bag. And uh, the grip, so these these have been used today. You'll see them in the videos. Um, I think I dove once and I was more worried that the palm area was going to rip because the other Umbros I have, which were a little more expensive, they tore right here. But this is, it's kind of hard to see, I know, because it's dark in here. But that's all the damage from one, one practice worth about two hours or so. Like I said, Julio did a lot of the diving today. But a little nick here, which is common. This one, a little nick on the thumb. And some up there. But uh, not that grip. Uh, the palm is way thicker than I expected, um, so I'm kind of impressed with that as well. It's a kind of a plasticky uh, wrist strap. I mean, they're pretty bare bone, but I just thought it was super cool that they did happen to have some splines on them. Now, a couple things wrong with them, or the main thing that's wrong with them, is that is the size. Adult. Whereas... I don't even know where that, where is that bag? But the bag for the Adidas, most goalie gloves come in different sizes. Uh, some of them even come in half sizes. Uh, I'm a nine and a half uh, to a 10. This one just literally is junior and adult and it gives you this little uh, measuring thing on the back which is never accurate. In my opinion, I think these are probably eight, maybe eight and a half. Because my, the, the ball, the heel of my palm is like kind of in, in the, in the black area. They fit, but because of their, the splines, it's really uncomfortable for me to punch. But Julio didn't have an issue, and I think that's right around his size is eight, eight and a half. So if you're larger than that and you're interested, you know, in getting a pair of decent, cheap goalie gloves, don't go with these because they won't fit. But if you're not... I don't know what size the junior is and there's not a whole lot of discrepancy between the junior and the adult you know um, but if you're I'd say between a six to an eight you can probably get away with these ones any less I would go with the junior but if you're looking for a glove you know like let's say you're a JV JV goalie or your kid is a JV JV goalie these will work just fine varsity they might I don't know how well they'll last, you know, under really rigorous conditions. Because this was on turf, by the way, too. This was not on natural grass. Um, I don't know how they'll be wet. It did rain today, but it didn't rain enough, for, I guess, over in that part of Fremont, which isn't that far away. Um, so I don't know how they'll, they act in wet conditions. Uh, this was just turf, dry turf conditions. Uh, and I thought, they, I thought they worked okay, actually. Like I said, it would have been nicer if they were larger, but, you know. 
beggars can't be choosers. But anyways, so that's what you're going to see today in the video um, that I'm going to be working on right now. And then um, you can see how they are in action. So we'll see you all in uh, just a few moments.
Thank you.